All the way back in 2007, my riding stables Life with Horses gave you a ranch to run that had both horses and guests to juggle. Despite being an extremely popular game and still standing as one of the best horse games we have, very few games thereafter explored this theme until Acquire. Acquire is an upcoming horse game that will let you, according to Steam, manage staff and guests or focus on challenging competitions, breed, trade and raise foals as you choose your own destiny. This sounds like a really awesome experience and very promising for players. Like a lot of games coming out right now, the entire Acquire is being made by one person, with the exception of the music. And this is both great and a bit worrying. The larger a game's scope, the more work it will be, and one person can't really cover everything. But I had a chance to ask some questions from the developer, and from their answers they seem pretty level-headed and open to suggestions. This video will be an overview of Acquire and my thoughts on the concept as a whole. I won't lie, I'm pretty excited for this one because I was a huge fan of my riding stables back in the day, and still am. But with that all out of the way, I'd like to thank Thank my Ko-Fi supporters for being more awesome being able to ride a unicorn in Hogwarts Legacy. Let's get into it. The developer has made smaller projects before this game, so they do have some experience in game development. Before we get into the game proper though, I'd like to read a statement from the developer and I quote, Firstly, a lot of things are not yet set in stone. Although I have a good idea about what the game should be, like any other game developer, some of my convictions will turn out to not work once they are implemented into the game, which means I will have to change things. Whenever I'm unsure about any of the features, etc., I will be discussing it here. I will mention it in my answer. Secondly, and in a more positive spirit, the early development stage that this game is in means that I'm still very open to implementing feedback that people give me. This was a big part of the reason I chose to put up a Steam page so early, and why I try to interest people in the game. Often I have seen developers of similar games show a disregard for their community, be it because of ignorance or limited capacities. And although not every idea and feedback by a game's community can or should be realized, I want to keep my ears open and involve the players in the development of a choir. That is really an awesome statement, not gonna lie. But the real reason I'm reading this is to ensure that everyone understands. This game is not completed yet, it's still in early development and has only been in development for around 5 months. There's still a long way to go before it can be considered anywhere near completed. So let's keep our expectations realistic and take a look. First off, this is not going to be an MMO, joy to me. I know a lot of people prefer MMOs, but having games that are single player experiences are good, because there are also a lot of players that don't like playing with others, because we don't like people, so suck it. But because it's not an MMO, there will be no microtransactions, yay! According to the Steam page, the main idea of this game is to run and build your dream ranch. This includes designing the ranch from the ground up with some in-depth design options, selling, trading, breeding horses for competitions, and keeping your guests happy. You do that by ensuring the ranch is catered to your guests' needs and desires. All of this sounds amazing, and the guests' happiness specifically reminds me of an old game from 2003, Jurassic Park Genesis. In this game, your guests had different needs and different parts in your park had to cater to those specific needs. A good example were Thrill Seekers, who specifically liked dinosaurs eating each other. You sickos. This has always been a sort of staple in theme park management games, and seeing it being implemented into a horse game is very intriguing. I'm quite curious to see how this will specifically work, but the fact that it is in the pipeline as a concept is already something to get excited about. Some other points the Steam page mentions are become a world-renowned breeder, hire staff, or create a cozy retreat for yourself. It really does seem like the game is trying to cover a wide range of activities for horse ranch management. You will also, of course, be able to to expand your ranch and unlock areas to explore on horseback. This is really great, it just depends on how much of this will be added to the game in the end. Just to be absolutely clear, the game has no specific goal, in the words of the developer, the game will not have a predetermined goal but will let players decide what their goals are. This could be reaching the maximum reputation level, unlocking everything the game has to offer, or winning the highest level of competition in all disciplines. Some other points are that the game is being made in Unreal Engine 5 and has no set date for its completion at this point. And that's it for overview, let's get into the gameplay. The main focus of this game is ranch creation and customization. Horses are, of course, a big part of this, but the Steam page places a lot of emphasis on this aspect and I'm on board with that. A lot of us have picked up games like Sims 3 or 4 for the sole chance of creating our dream stables. It's a dream type game a lot of us are hankering for, and Acquire seems to be hitting that hammer right on the nail. But of course, building a ranch is only one part of the equation. See what I did there? We need horses to fill it up. There won't necessarily be a lot of breed 
breeds, as the developer states. Different breeds are on a big list of features that I would definitely like to have in the game, but are out of the game's focused scope. They are not yet in my definite plans for the game, as they would require very detailed individual models to do them justice. The developer goes on to say that if they do add more breeds, they will hire an artist to help out, which is a great idea. But for now, it seems we're going to have only one breed, which again is fine. Rancher River Shine only has one breed, and this helps to keep the complexity of breeding down to a minimum, and of course to ensure all tack will fit all horses. However, some games like Rival Stars started out with one breed and slowly added more breeds. If Acquire does well, more breeds could be added in the future. But I am very happy that the developer is keeping expectations smaller at this point. They are willing, but would rather let the game develop naturally, which is good. Just emphasizing that. But at this point in time, there will only be show jumping and cross country, with a plan to add other disciplines if the game does well. A lot of indie games tend to focus on the basic jumping gameplay, more than likely because it is far easier to coat and dressage. Although it is yet another show jumping game, I'm not too worried about it because the setting and ranch management is going to be more the focus of the game. Another point a lot of players are no doubt happy about is breeding. The game will have breeding and when asked if it will be realistic breeding with proper genetics, the dev had this to say. I would say yes in the context of a game. Breeding will be mostly about two things, the potential stats of the horse and their coats. The parent's potential stat will heavily impact a foal's potential stats and the coat color is generated through a genetic system. Because I study biotechnology, it has been very interesting to understand horse code genetics, and now all horses already carry variables that represent the major genes that are involved." End quote. So, happy horse breeders, some realistic breeding for all of you. The horse model itself is an asset the developer adjusted to fit better into his game. He based the model on warm bloods and plans to add a lot of common coat colors, which will be part of the genetics and breeding, of course. The coat type and color will be determined by genetics, and the game will then create an individual pattern that is influenced by the pattern of the parents. This means every horse will have its unique coat pattern. On a sadder note, there won't be an emphasis on horse creation. You might be able to create one as a first horse somewhat, but quote-unquote determining is going to be more likely. So creation is not a huge focus, but at least we get some realistic genetics. Now the game will also allow you to hire help on the ranch to groom and feed your horses. This is hands down the best feature of any horse game ever. I'm not even kidding. Grooming and feeding horses quickly become a chore, and this in turn makes horse games grindy and boring. And I never understood why I can't just hire stable hands, especially when we have millions of dollars in our bank accounts and game. Anyway. However, this doesn't mean that we won't be able to groom our horses. According to the developer, being able to groom your horse is on the nice-to-have list. And he continues, Grooming will not have any kind of gameplay impact, often grindy, but I would like to implement some nice animations and customization options to strengthen immersion and enable roleplay. This should keep all walks of players happy, you can groom the horse, but it's not mandatory. Let's get into the training. You won't be training your horse directly, in that training will not be accomplished through riding, but rather through weekly and monthly decisions. And I quote, You can play the training of each horse individually, choosing a training focus for every week. These focuses will increase the horse's abilities towards their genetic potential. To make the best progress, you will have to balance more intense training with recovery and other activities to keep health, comfort and energy energy at a high level. This harkens back to horse racing games. A lot of horse racing games had weekly training sessions ensuring certain skills were bettered over the course of that week. Usually the training was either a success or a failure, depending on the energy level and skill of the horse. A more recent game that implements this is Equestrian the Game or ETG. Although Acquire won't be asking money to speed up training, it will be, you know, part of the gameplay. Instead of just making more money out of us, how lovely. The developer continues, Furthermore, how well you adjust the horse's training to its personality, the ability of your staff, the quality of facilities you have built, etc. will have an impact on the success of your training and the improvement of your horse. Besides all planning, injuries or other events might throw off your plans. I also plan on implementing a very similar feature that lets you pick a program, events, riding lessons, etc. for a group of guests that have individual interests. These two systems will interact. For example, you might decide to reserve the horse for your guests blocking its training spot for that week. I love, 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 love all of this. Injuries make me silly happy. Ow! Ow! 
It adds a sense of realism and edge to the game that is often missing in horse games overall. I also love the idea that you have to consider the horse's personality and your staff's ability. The horse's personality will also affect the management and competitions quite a bit. For example, an inexperienced rider can't ride a nervous horse because that is just a recipe for disaster. And a horse that is very dominant might be a bit of a problem for your herd. He further states, I also want them to influence gameplay so a stubborn horse might take a little longer to reply on your signals while an energetic one is ready at the first hurdle. End quote. Again, just really good and pretty original. I'm very curious how this will manifest in game. Can your guest fall off? Sustain injury? Will that mean your ranch's ranking goes down? What happens when the T-Rex enclosure loses power? All of this pushes to a more strategic and thoughtful approach and not just grinding. However, there is a slight catch. You won't be able to directly train your horses in that you can ride them and explore with them and you can practice your technique in the arenas, but by doing so, you won't be directly training them like that. The only way to train is through the weekly schedule. This is not such an issue for me personally, as I find that some games get bogged down in the training and it quickly becomes stale and boring. I'm looking at you, Ranch of Rivershine. I still love you though. The original take on this is quite nice and I quite like the weekly planning and more thoughtful considerations. It's something I really miss from older horse racing games and it makes for a different style of game. And variety is something we also sorely need in horse games, so this is probably a good change. The final section will be world. The exploration will be limited to your ranch, of course, and as you progress in the game you will be able to open more areas. The developers say this about the areas. Their amount and sizes are not yet set, but expect medium, if that makes sense. They are not the focus of the game, but will rather serve as a switch up in gameplay and a nice unlockable goal the player can work towards. They will be big enough to have a nice ride in nature, but not massive. Smaller towns are a possibility, but if they have any inhabitants, you won't be able to enter act with them in a big way." End quote. The town intrigues me. The original My Riding Stables had a very similar small town you could explore. It wasn't much, but it certainly added a charm to the game. Even if it's just one town, I think the players would really appreciate it. But then again, all of this hinges on how big the game will be at the end of the day. There is no story here, but there will be a basic theme to explain why the player is on the ranch. This is once again fine. My Riding Stables, Life with Horses, had much the same theme, with a very basic premise. And then it was up to you for the rest. Although I love stories, Stories, games with no stories can often be quite soothing and fun to play as in a way you're telling your own story. The game itself seems to be split into three parts, riding, building and planning. The riding will be third person, building a mixture of top down and first person and the planning is a 2D view where you can set your horse's training. I love the charts. I love the progression bars and the penalties and rewards. This kicks my nerd into high gear and all I want to do is select my horse's training. I want to do it now. But the game seems to be a lot more focused on the building of the ranch, which is a nice change of pace as this part of horse games are usually limited to basically just upgrading some visuals. Star Equestrian does have some decent customization options, but much like ETG, they ask a ton of money from players to be able to customize their ranch, which makes it less fun and more stress-inducing. I'm extremely grateful we have developers that are still willing to make single-player games. Thank you to each of you. Now, one other question I asked was whether we will be able to see our guests walk around the ranch. My riding stable Life with Horses had this, so I was quite curious, and this is what the developer had to say. I hope so. But to answer this question, I must find some performance optimized solutions and perform some tests that I will do once the game is more complete. I need to know what the potential AI needs to react to and how performance heavy the game will be once most things are implemented." End quote. This sounds a lot more complex than I thought it would be. Although I sincerely hope that we will be able to see our guests, I don't want the developers to end up focusing on something trivial when the horse riding and ranch creation really should take precedence. Not gonna lie, it would be pretty cool, but I do recognize that a large part of me wants this game to be a proper successor to my riding stables, and that's not fair to either the developer or the game. In closing, out of all the single developer games coming out, this one has me the most intrigued. Don't get me wrong, all the upcoming horse games have me ridiculously happy. But something about this game just gets to me. The detailed 2D screens and more in-depth training is bubbling up an excitement I haven't felt since Champion Jockey over 10 years ago. I really am looking forward to planning and figuring out the best training for my horse. And with everything else in the possible pipeline for the game, there's a lot to look forward to. I will also say, it's nice to see some originality. Mixing the 
the genre of horse games and management is not exactly brand new, but it is something new in the current pool of horse games, and that's something I sincerely appreciate. The more original horse games that come out, the more inspiring ideas and fun worlds we will get to explore and play. Acquire, you're certainly a game I'm keeping my eye on.